Hey, hi friends in this video I'm gonna show you uh, five different ways to running a Spring Boot application so Spring Boot offers several ways of running Spring Boot applications right so but in this video I'm gonna show you the five simplest ways to run a Spring Boot application okay so I have already written an article and published on my website my website is Java guides so this is the my article link so I will provide this link along with this video, video so that uh, you can anytime visit this article and refer the steps okay here are my five steps uh, five ways so the very first way is to you know running from the IDE so once we import a Spring Boot application or when we develop whenever we are developing Spring Boot applications then I uh, typically we run from the application class right so we just just that this application class contains a main method so we can right click and we can run as a java class all right the second approach the second way is to running from the command line so uh, so typically spring boot application uh, is a standalone project so whenever we build the project then this jar file will get be generated then we can run the jar from jar file from the command line by using java hyphen jar command alright the third way is we can we can run from by using this maven plugin so basically we include a maven plugin in a pom.xml of maven project so we can run the spring boot application by using this maven command spring boot colon run and the fourth way is we can run uh, this uh, spring boot application uh, so typically if a spring boot application is a web application or any rest web service application then typically we generate a jar file of it and we will deploy an external server so this is uh, one of the uh, one of the way we can also deploy in to into an external tomcat server so the fifth way is uh, using gradle uh, gradle plugin so we, this is a similar uh, to a maven plugin so so here four steps i will show you uh, uh, in in my you know uh, development step so let's go ahead and implement these four steps uh, practically all right so here is a eclipse id uh, inside eclipse id i have already set up a simple spring boot uh, application to demonstrate uh, you know different ways uh, different ways to you know run a spring boot application so here if you can see the first way is to run a uh, our Spring Boot application class. Uh, uh, here you can see this is the Spring Boot application class, which, which contains a main method. So we can we can run by right click run as a Java class. So this is a simple way. So oh, probably uh, all the Spring developers know it, right? So here you can see Tomcat uh, started and uh, port eight zero eight zero all right this is the first way uh, simplest way and the second way is uh, to run uh, from the command line so in order to do that do that we need to build this maven project so that will generate a jar file in a target folder so here we go the maven build is success now let's refresh the project and you can observe the jar file is what generated in a target folder here we go so let's open this directory in a command line and let's run this jar file now here you can see uh, this is this is uh, the path of the project now we just type the command java hyphen jar target and so name of the jar file here we go the the application is now deploying you can see the tomcat server on port 8080 now let us test it let let's test whether this application is properly running or not uh, from the browser yeah here you can see the localhost 8080 and the users so now the application is running properly so this is uh, typically a spring boot web application uh, 
it has a GSP as a Vivlier and here you can see a uh, user controller it has uh, you know a method handler and it returns a uh, GSP view so this GSP contains a list of users okay and you know, this controller uh, returns a list of hard-coded users and that we have printed in a web browser all right this is the second way we can run i know spring boot application from the command line the third way is to run using maven plugin so on a, on a command line you can you know go to the project directory and you can type maven spring boot colon run so you can see the application is now deploying so post it will build and it will it will deploy all right the tomcat server uh, started and put here this is how the third way we can use uh, you know spring you know this maven command to run the spring boot application and the fourth way is to you know uh, to deploy Spring Boot web application as a WAR file into a Tomcat server. So we need to follow these three steps in order to deploy the Spring Boot standalone application into a external Tomcat server. So I have already you know uh, created a video uh, separately, which you know which uh, which explains this this uh, fourth step uh, to create a WAR file of Spring Boot project and deploy in a Tomcat server. So please, uh, you can refer that video uh, for this this fourth way. And pipped way is a Gradle plugin, so which is similar to a Spring Maven Maven plugin. So you can, if you are using uh, Gradle as a um, project build tool, then you can use this command to easily run your Spring Boot project using Gradle plugin. Okay, so these are the three five simplest ways to run a Spring Boot application. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.